make the actual balloon powered amphicar you will only need basic parts and tools that are found in every school or preschool. For the boat you need, one standard 1 liter milk or juice carton, one paper straw, one toy balloon, a cello tape or other sticky tape, a pair of scissors, a marker pen, and a ruler, for the amphicar you need in addition, a second paper straw, one wooden skewer, about 4 mm wide and at least 20 cm long, and four plastic bottle tops of the same size. Now, we can start the construction. Take one straw and measure two finger widths from the end along the straw and mark this point. If you want to use a ruler, this is about 3 cm, or 1 and a half inch. Do the same at the other end of the straw. Lay the milk or juice carton on its side so that the top is on the right and the opening points away from you. This will be the hull of the boat. The side facing upwards is the upper side, the deck of the boat. The side facing downwards is the bottom. The side with the opening is the port and the other side is the starboard. The bottom of the carton is the stern and the top of the carton is the bow. Put the straw on the upper side of the boat so that one mark is on the rear starboard corner and the other mark meets the port edge. Mark the point where the mark meets the port side. Take the ruler and draw a line across the deck from the mark to starboard, perpendicular to the port side. Use the scissors to prick a hole in the deck and cut away all of the deck that is between the line and the stern. Only the foredeck remains. Use the scissors to prick a hole in the stern just above the middle of the bottom edge of the stern. The hole shall be just big enough for the straw to pass through and still be tight. Slip the balloon's open end over the one end of the straw and fold it as tightly as possible around the straw. Wrap the sticky tape as tightly as possible around the folded neck of the balloon and the straw. Cut two pieces of sticky tape about 6 cm each, and stick one end of each piece of tape to the side of the table. Take the other end of the straw and push it from the inside of the hull through the hole in the stern until the mark sits in the hole. Attach the straw with sticky tape to the foredeck and to the stern. The sticky tape at the stern shall be at the outside and seal the hole around the straw. The boat is now finished and can be used. If you like you can color it with paint. Continue the construction if you want to make an amphicar. Take the second straw and cut it into two pieces that are as long as the boat's width. These will be the axle holders. Use sticky tape to attach the two axle holder straws to the bottom of the boat. They should be about a hand width apart and be perpendicular to the length of the hull. Take a bottle top, find the center, and make a hole. Many bottle tops are so soft that you can use the pointy end of the skewer to make the hole. If the plastic is too hard, you have to use a hammer and a nail.
Do the same for all the four wheels. Measure a piece of the skewer that has the length of the axle holder plus two finger widths, about 10 centimeters. And cut it off. Cut off another piece of the same length. These will be the axles. Put a wheel on one end of each axle. Push the axles through the inside of the axle holder straws. Put the remaining wheels on the other ends of the axles. Place the completed car onto a flat surface and check if it works. The car will might not work if any part is touching the table or floor. If the straw that sticks out at the stern is too long, you can shorten it by cutting a piece away. The amphicar is now finished and can be used. Lift the boat or amphicar and blow into the end of the balloon holder straw so that the balloon inflates. When the balloon is quite big, squeeze the straw, quickly put the amphicar onto a flat surface and let it go. The amphicar can drive down a slope at the shore, enter the water and continue as a boat. <laughs>